What's happening guys? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about moving a controller from one location to another location. What do I mean is, for example, I have, uh, let us say, a controller outside this, right? Let me just, for example, uh, create one, you know, uh, let me go and create a new controller. So PHP artisan make controller and uh, give it a name let's say sample controller and make it a resource controller you know just for the sake of demonstration now right now we have this sample controller right now definitely if I just uh, set up a route it's going to work let me just uh, do it like this resource I just copy pasted the previous resource now what I'll do is I'll say sample I'll just say sample right now I want this to be present of course it's outside so I'll just say sample controller right and that's it now if I just go and uh, type something inside my index function uh, let's say return it's working and uh, let if I just go and load it should work so if I just say sample so it's working right now the question becomes you know my intention is to move the sample controller inside one folder you know maybe let's create one folder um, let's create it as a users folder right so I want to move this sample controller inside this users folder yeah sure you can actually just uh, move it or let's say I'll just copy and uh, create a new file and paste it but it's not so simple right uh, so I'll just uh, say sample C O N T R O L L E R sample controller and of course it's going to be a PHP file so now it's located inside the sample controller right uh, let me just uh, delete the one the older one which is no more useful so this is inside the sample controller now if we go and just uh, make it as users it won't work so right now as you know usually as people would do a uh, users backslash sample controller if I just go and try and try to load it won't work because it says sample controller does not exist now this was a, a, a very fair common problem that uh, I used to face when I just started off so I figured out you know if I could help you with the video that would be good so you know what I you know what is the thing that you need to do here to make it work is to change the namespace now it should be inside the users right because it's inside this users folder and the namespace is correspondingly changed to users now additionally we need to make one more attachment that is use HTTP app HTTP controllers controller just grab this line from any other controller so this is going to be present by default uh, just copy this and uh, paste it here so that's it now if we go and try to make it work it's working so that is the small hack that you need to know just in case if you want to my, uh, move a controller from one folder to another folder or from one location basically from the controllers folder inside another folder if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and share thank you